cryptocurrency markets of highs on profit taking. Facebook parent Meta misses revenue estimates for Metaverse division in quarter 3. Norway steps into the Metaverse with the Decentraland tax office. Crypto exchange FTX is working on creating a stablecoin. Hong Kong to make retail crypto trading legal. Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Cryptocurrency markets were flat to positive on Thursday of highs on profit-taking in key cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Manoj Dhara joins us to explain how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. Over to you, Manoj. Cryptocurrency markets were trading flat to positive, although off highs, on profit-taking in key cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Markets have recovered in recent days on the back of weak US dollar, declining bond yields and a rise in investor confidence on interest rate trajectory going forward. That's what analysts have said. So market participants now expect a less painful outcome from the upcoming US Fed meet which is scheduled on November 2nd. So IC15 index of cryptocurrency were trading higher by 0.15% at 30,341 points. If you talk about the overall global cryptocurrency market cap which was just under $1 trillion mark although trading higher by 0.1% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume fell 15% to $96 billion. So, Bitcoin was trading at $20,600 up by 0.1% and has gained 7.6% in the last 7 trading sessions. So, Bitcoin briefly touched $21,000 mark for the first time in 3 weeks, was trading off ice on the back of profit taking in the past 24 hours 81,034 traders were liquidated and the total liquidation coming at $459 million. Talk about Ethereum has rallied 20% in the last 7 days was at $1,550 of 1.2%. So there are a couple of reasons why Ethereum has actually you know gained post merge if we all know. We have seen a, a slump in the prices but whale activity in Ethereum has which has actually Whales have become more active after 6 plus years and moved 22.5 million from an exchange to an empty wallet on Wednesday. This is the development which has happened on Wednesday and which has actually removed Ethereum from the exchange exchanges can reduce the potential sell pressure and lead to an increase in its price. That's what analysts have said. So traders will keep an eye on the upcoming events. For further direction, there are many events that are lined up. So key data for the first half of November for the cryptocurrencies we have we have compiled a list for you. So you have to keep an eye on these important events such as November, uh, November 2nd is an FOMC rate setting meeting where it is expected that the Fed will raise interest rates by 75 basis points. On November 4th, it is the US payrolls which is expecting a lower numbers as analysts have highlighted. On November 8th, US midterm elections wherein Republicans are expected to risk one of the House or Senators as per trends. And November 10th, US CPI numbers, we all know how important is the CPI numbers. Uh, if you talk about the other altcoins on my left, Binance BNB was down by 0.25%, was trading at $288. So, Binance CEO Cheng Ping Zhao, in a tweet on October 27th, announced the National Bank of Kazakhstan will integrate its CBDC digital uh, project with the Binance chain. And Binance has actually signed an MOU with the Financial Monetary Agency of the Republic of Kazakhstan to identify a block illegal crypto assets as well as crypto related to money laundering and terrorism financing which is a cause of concern for, for every government including India. Next on the list is Solana Sol was down by 0.12% was trading at $31.5 Avalanche of X was trading at $17.1 low by 0.8% Cardano's ADA token was down by 0.1% to trade at $0.405. Polkadot was down by 1.5% to trade at $6. Polygonmatic was down by 3.1% was trading at $0.92. So Matic is in news in last for, for the last 6-7 days after New Bank, a Brazilian fintech company which is backed by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway and SoftBank confirmed that it selected Polygon's SuperNets technology for its blockchain and the digital token dubbed Newcoin. 
the growing demand for polygon products may bring a similar boom for its native token matic which serves as a utility and staking assets within the polygon blockchain ecosystem that's what the analysts have said doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 10.4% at 0.075 dollars adding 27% in the last seven trading session so some market analysts believe that the recent doge coin rally has come on the back of elon musk which is likely to conclude its twitter deal this week as per as per bloomberg so thus the doge coin community could be cheering the deal could pave the way for doge transactions on twitter that's what the market rumor or maybe the, the market chatter is in the last 48 hours the doge price has shot up by more than 27% within its valuation soaring to 10 billion dollars in a while still doge is trading more than 90% discount from its all time hit which was 0.73 dollars hit last year in may 2021 next on the list is shiba inu was trading up by 3.4% lipple's xrp token was trading at 0.47 dollars up by 1.2 2%. Thank you, Manoj, for this in-depth market analysis. And now back to the headlines. According to its earnings report released on October 26th, Meta Platform reported third quarter revenue of only $285 million in its Facebook Reality Labs division, which includes its augmented and virtual reality operations. That was far short of the analysis consensus of $406 million, and it was down from $452 million in the second quarter. Overall, FRL lost $3.7 billion in the third quarter, up from $2.8 billion in the previous quarter. In a press release, the company also stated that it expects FRL's operating losses to increase significantly year over year in 2023. With the establishment of a Metaverse tax office, the Norwegian government is taking steps to embrace Web3. On 26 October, the Brinsun Norway's central register and Skatetaten, the country's tax authority, announced a partnership with consulting firm Ernest & Young to establish an office in Decentraland. According to Nokios, the initiative goal is to provide service to younger tech-savvy individuals while establishing their Web3 footprint. Magnus Jones, Nordic blockchain lead at EY, stated that he hopes the partnership with Norwegian authorities will help spearhead education in the crypto space by teaching users about taxes related to decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. FTX, a cryptocurrency exchange, is developing a stablecoin according to CEO Sam Bankman-Fried in an interview. More information was not available on the website, which is behind a paywall. Customers can currently use a basket of US dollar stablecoins as collateral for margin trading at FTX. Through USD, USD coin, Pax dollar, Binance USD, and HUSD are all included in the basket. FTX has been spending heavily during the current bear market, including a deal to buy crypto lending company BlockFi for up to $240 million. Hong Kong intends to legalize retail cryptocurrency trading in order to establish itself as a crypto hub. To offer retail trading, cryptocurrency platforms will need to apply for a license. The city wishes to re-establish itself as a global financial center. This contrasts with mainland China, where cryptocurrency is prohibited. As part of the one country, two system governance framework, Hong Kong has its own financial and judicial system separate from the Chinese mainland. Now let's go to Vishakha to get update on the three buzzing stocks of the day. Binance CEO CZ in a tweet on October 27 announced the National Bank of Kazakhstan will integrate its CBDC digital tent with the BNB chain. Binance signed an MOU with the Financial Monitoring Agency of the Republic of Kazakhstan to identify and block illegal crypto assets as well as crypto related to money laundering and terrorism financing. Some market analysts believe that the recent Dogecoin rally comes as Elon Musk is likely to conclude the Twitter deal this week as per Bloomberg. Thus, the Dogecoin community could be cheering that the deal could pave way for Doge transactions on Twitter. In the last 48 hours, the Doge price has shot up by more than 25% with its valuation soaring to $10 billion in a while. Still, Dogecoin is trading at more than a 90% discount from its all-time high of $0.73 last year in May 2021. Matic rose by nearly 6.5% four days after New Bank, a Brazilian fintech company backed by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway and SoftBank confirmed that it selected Polygon Supernets technology for its blockchain and digital token dubbed Newcoin.
The growing demand for Polygon products may bring a similar boom for its native token Matic, which serves as a utility and staking asset within the Polygon blockchain ecosystem. Thank you, Vishaka. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. For more such updates, like, share and subscribe to 3.0 TV. Have a great day.